So the help video for the lab where carbon dioxide and water pH. It's a pretty simple, straightforward lab, but please read the directions carefully and do the pre-lab questions before you start the lab. For the pre-lab questions, since you don't know this information, I'm expecting you to use your Chromebook and do some research. You want to figure out what pH measures, what a pH of 7 means, below 7 what that means, and what a pH of above 7 means. So again, use the internet to do that. Then you have to show me, and I'll give you a little check to make sure that you did it before you did the actual lab. So all you need is a few things, a test tube, a straw, and a pipette. You can use your phone as a timer, and then on each lab table, there will be a beaker of a water solution that has a pH indicator in it. It is completely safe. I made it myself. It's made out of cabbage, so it might smell a little bit funky, but it is totally safe. It's just cabbage. Now what you want to do is you want to use the pipette. <clears throat> Those pipettes are one milliliter pipettes. You can see it on the side. You're not going to fill the bulb of the pipette up. Just put the pipette inside the solution and draw it up till it hits the one milliliter line and then transfer that to your test tube. You want to do that about five to ten times to get five to ten milliliters. Then you're going to make observations. What color is it? Then you're going to put your straw on your test tube and you're going to blow air into it. Try not to blow so hard that it sprays the uh, water and pH indicator everywhere because I don't have that much. I had to only make so much. But while you do that, time how long it takes. Use a partner. This lab is really good with a partner to help you watch the water solution for when it changes color. And really keep going until it really changes color so it's totally different than what it was in the beginning. All right. And once it does change, stop the timer and record some of your observations. The rest of this is just, you know, lab questions. What color did it become? And then once you know what color it was, what color changed, you're going to use this here. Remember what pH of 7 means. Remember what everything below that means and above that means. Answer the questions accordingly. And now you're going to do the post-lab questions. But before you do that, clean up your lab stuff and put it back, OK? That way, if you don't finish these in class, you can do them for homework. These are simple, straightforward questions when it comes to number five. Don't just say, oh, this is what happens. That's it. Tell me, if the pH of, the, of water changes, how does it change? Does it become more basic or more acidic? What would that mean if we had more acidic or more basic rain? What would that mean if we had more acidic or basic oceans or lakes? How would that affect the earth, people, every organism out there? Be very specific. Think about it. And as always, if you need help, just raise your hand.